The family experience the say is always demanding and exhausting. Agricultural students of different universities oftentimes wish this year never comes. As he is in times past, students have had different opinions of what their farm year internship looks like. This is a story of some group of agricultural students during their farm practice year. Thank you very much. The impact of um, internship program on the 
growth domestic product of Nigeria um, could be seen uh, from two different perspectives or dimensions. First, um, we are producing professional in agriculture. In other words, we are seeing we are training the younger ones who will take a career in agriculture. Um, that is the goal of training them. And this internship program is a year, a full year of practical experience on the field, uh, where they are taught uh, thematic areas in all aspects of agriculture. And I believe they are specialists in any area when they graduate. So the impact could be felt in production, in providing food for the nation, and in creating jobs for themselves and other younger ones in the country. Um, another one is um, uh, even training holders because they are professional in different areas, they can be consultants, and then expand the tempo of uh, agricultural programs. Uh, that will have so much effect and impact on the gross domestic product. Like I said, these younger ones can be employed in different areas of agricultural production, be it uh, food production, in terms of livestock, uh, agriculture, arable crop, plantation agriculture, even other uh, modern uh, aspects of agriculture like um, uh, following the trend in the world today, uh, we have different types of agriculture going on. We are talking of organic agriculture. Uh, the younger ones are so much trained in that area, they can use different technology to promote that. We are talking of smart agriculture. In other words, if they are fully uh, employed, that will assist in uh, solving the problem of um, uh, ecosystem and, uh, and uh, climate problem uh, globally. The trend is that when you have knowledgeable people taking up agriculture, they'll be able to stem down the evil effect of climate. And therefore, it will create a venue for sustainable growth of, uh, of uh, agriculture in Nigeria. Even if it hasn't been proven of the percentage of the student's contribution to the agricultural sector, it is definitely a sure thing that these students are contributing a certain percentage to agricultural development in Nigeria. Okay, so they rub the feed. Have you picked the eggs this morning? Yes, sir. Okay. What are you doing over there? 
Okay. As far as poultry production is concerned, now that the country is even threatened with food insecurity, you understand? The students after graduation are expected to go out there to dabble into any of the poultry ventures. We have different aspects of poultry uh, business. We have the short-term poultry business. We have the long-term poultry business. Some can go into production of four weeks old broiler chickens. Some can go into production of 13 weeks old point of cage laying beds. Sure you understand me? And some can decide to go into fattening of chicken for meat production. While some can go into sales. We have processing aspect of production, you understand me? The people that will be doing going to the production must own a poultry farm before they can go into production. Why the people that will be processing? These are people that we only the only requirement they need to go into food business is just finance. They go to poultry farms to buy egg and resell to the outside world, you understand me? While some can go into meat processing, buy broiler chickens from farms where they have been produced and at the end of the day, distribute to the end users. So these are different business opportunities that we have in Poultry Venture that could actually enhance food. Part of the family activity is cultivation and production. And of course, these students are taught to produce maize, granite, cucumber, and all the types of agricultural produce. So good. This is very, all right so what we are doing right now is like we are sorting the maize into grades so there are different grades of maize in case you like when you are selling you braid into we have grade a we have b and we have c so the grade a's are the ones that are big something like these they are really big they are without spot or anything so these are the grade a's you sell at they sell at higher price than others so they are big and there is no spot or maize deformation of them. And we have our great bees. They are slightly smaller than the great A's. And yeah, they may have small deformities on them. And these are the great C, something like this. They don't actually sell at the same price with these. So that is why we are sorting so we can know the actual amount and to know how to sell and what we are expecting from the output of everything we are doing. So after sorting, we pack in different bags according to their grades your grade a b's and c they go into different bags so the grade a we take to where we sell and they sell at higher prices and we sell if you see those that are buying bulk we sell these bigger ones for as much as three four hundred naira yes and these smaller ones they go as far as four five four hundred naira and the tiny ones those are the great seeds that are like yes they have like wear, um, warm deformations on them and everything we sell those at lower price than great b so after living here after bagging everything we are doing here we take them to different locations we have different locations on campus we have the sub the student union building we sell at those points yes. and we sell at bus stops too and if you have any customers, yeah. So even at the Faculty of Agriculture, now faculty, we sell at those points. We, we always have customers. In fact, they wait for us before we get there most times. Because they know the quality of what we drink to, um, they know the qualities of what we are bringing. And so most of the time, so apart from that, there are some people that come around to the farm to sell. But most time we used to avoid middle women and we avoid selling to them because most of the time they don't buy at the price that is better for the farmer. Yeah, they don't buy a price that is favorable for the farmer. They buy at the price that will favor them and most of the times that is like injurious to the farmers. Like let's just say oh, that this time around. So most of the time we avoid selling to them. So that is how we take off campus, take it to the campus. At that time we sell at the price we really want, yeah, at the cost that. after, because we do estimations before we sell. So that is why we prefer taking it out to them and packaging it well before we sell. From time to time, they also have expats who usually come over to visit them after work. And of course, these times the students are really tired.
Hello? Okay. Listen up. You can have your seat. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, Daya, sit down. Sit down. I know. I know you have all tried today. I know you have tried. You have all tried today. Yeah, listen up. You have all tried today with the practical section on um, propagation of crops but as you know it is our tradition every now and then to bring in an expert today we have another expert in our midst and he's by name mr femi adekoya he is a drum special so welcome mr femi adekoya All right. It is not for me. It's a G for me. All right. Uh, greatest Nigerian students. All right. Greatest farmers. Oh, yeah, I'm still coming there. <laughs> of the greatest Ife. Of the greatest Ife. Good. And greatest farmers. Good. And um, we used to say, no farmer, no nation. Yeah. I'm excited that um, I'm here with you and you're still buzzing, even despite the work of the day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, by the way of introduction, so my name is Femi Adekoya. And uh, Femi Adekoya. Okay. So, I would just like to encourage you. Um, I'm also a farmer like you, and I've passed through this process the farm year practical, uh, we call it FPY. Uh, right, farm practical year, something like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's similar. Yeah, it can be exhausting. Sometimes you don't even know what you are doing. Sometimes you cannot even know how to link what you are presently doing with the reality of what you're going to meet outside. Yeah, it's like that. Um, but the fact is that you have to look at it from the positive part of it. What you are doing, it's not in vain. If you can remember that um, this year's International Youth Day um, is tagged transforming food system, right? Yeah. Youth innovation for human and planetary health, right? So it means that what you are doing, what you are learning right now, um, using your creativity and the energy you have as youth, you are contributing tangibly and significantly to the transformation of the food system in our country and also affecting it globally. All right? So, for example, uh, like I said, it's not just an hypothetical example, I'll use myself as an example. I uh, passed through this as an agricultural student and um, because of the mind that we have as youth, innovation, I am now a UAV strategist and UAV means drones. Okay, drones in agriculture. So when you talk about drones in agriculture, and that is what I do. So drones are one of the technological innovations that we now apply into agriculture to solve a lot of problems. Problems for farmers to generate information um, in terms of data collection or data gathering to be able to understand your crop health, to be able to understand your landform, topography, and a lot of things that you can generate. Even in your researches, all right, you can, um, there's all called phenotyping, you know, phenotyping and a lot of things like that. You can also use drones to actually work on the farm. Um, your tedious, you've been using knapsack sprayer and how can you make farming better? And some people say sexy or attractive, you understand? So drones are making uh, that possible and these innovations are driven by youth. I'm a youth, you are youth, right? So it's driven by youth. So beyond what you do here, I, I want to tell you that what you're doing here is contributing to, to the tr transformation of food system and just beyond what you're doing here, because of the passion that you have, because of the enthusiasm, because of um, the energy you have, you can do more, all right? So look beyond how can we make it better? How can we make it perfect, all right? So greatest farmers, greatest, greatest farmers, greatest, greatest OAUS, greatest, greatest effect. Yes. All right, I'm very, very happy to speak to you, and I hope that you are encouraged. Thank you. Next 
on farm year reality show. It's too much, it's unnecessary. Uh -uh. Every time, walk, 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 sand. I don't like all these type of things. I was not made for stress. What do you think? Ah. There are other things we can do. I'm not like this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.